that we Brits are the angriest people in Europe. But don't stress, don't fret, don't get angry. It's not such bad news. Experts say that losing our temper could actually be good for us because anger reduces the negative impact of stress as it increases blood flow, flow to the part of the brain uh, which is involved in experiencing happy and positive mm. feelings. So, ladies, do you subscribe to the theory that in with anger and out with love? No, I am. Um, I never lose my temper. Uh, it takes a lot for me to lose my temper, but I'm quite an upfront person. If something's upsetting me, I will confront them. Um, but there was one occasion I decided not to confront them, and I was having a little bitch behind the back, so, a little, uh, you know, a little gossip behind the back. Anyway, um, it was Brookside. I was on the set of Brookside, and one of the actors had decided to leave early. They had some event to go to, and they didn't do the reverse shots for us. So when they leave, we're going, oh, that's disgusting. Like, you know, you think they'd wait five minutes and do the, the extra shot for us, don't you? And we're having a right old gossip. Anyway, um, we finished the scene. We all head over to the green room, and they'd forgotten they'd left the monitor on. <gasps> this person was sat listening to everything that we'd oh, said, right? Whole bitch fest. Now, I was, I was with two blokes, two other actors, and they walked in. They just put their heads down. Oh. They start kind of cowered back, but I fronted up. I said, look, you heard what was said then. I said, and I've got to be honest with you. I said, you were out of order. Oh, weren't she, wasn't she out of order, boys? And they went, nothing to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> totally didn't back me you up You know what, all. when you said they cowered back, you were right, cowards. They didn't you back say me up. stand by your word. Well, as I said, I stand by my word. It's been annoying us for a while, and I'm going to tell you to your face. Yeah. Yeah. You, but I, you know, I have to say, I think I do agree with the, with the experts on this one, because I, I actually think that that anger, if it's properly discharged, can actually have a really cathartic effect. I think mm. anger gets a bad press. You know, I think it, it's important to get it out. I think if you bottle it up, it, it, it's, it's only going to make things well, you're worse. You're a bit of a diva, Leslie. Oh. Do you have diva tantrums? I do, actually, but on my own. I, the one thing I do draw the line at is actually exploding at the, at the source of the anger, because I don't think that helps, because then all they get is your anger. They don't get the reasoning behind it, and it mm. is important to sit down and talk and be reasonable, but I have to get all the feelings out first so I actually have bought myself a punching bag I got it from oh, the and, and, and I've got gloves now name? and I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a go yeah, well, I've, well, I've had to do it because of my rabbits actually uh, to save them because well uh, what I used to do before I got the punching bag is I'd go to my shed I've got a rabbit shed at the bottom of the garden and I'd go in there and go let it all out and I've got quite a lot of deaf rabbits now so, <laughs> you know I'm you're right because I think you know anger is 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 Fundamentally, it's a human emotion. It's something yeah. we all experience, but we look upon it as a negative emotion. And I think it's something we've got to learn to process and, yeah. like you it's say, management. discharge. It's anger and management, isn't it? You know, that's something mm. I'd really like um, to get a handle on because I find myself, I'm trying so hard not to do it anymore, just flipping out at things that just aren't worth it. You know that expression, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you see, I couldn't imagine you losing your temper. You always seem yeah. so calm. You know, when you find yourself honking your horn in the wheel of your car, doing hand signals that really. <laughs> <laughs> really shouldn't be doing and then you think hang on a minute if I could see myself now I wouldn't like this scene very much yeah. so I want to um, better myself in that respect Plus and, you've got a child now. and, and I've got a child so mm. I don't want, and that's what I mean I, I, that's when you start to check yourself mm. and I think it's really difficult to learn how to manage your anger and I think it's something that you you, you come to in in time and um, it's tricky though I mean when you see people have that kind of red mist descend mm. I think it's really scary mm. really I scary is. and I think I, I mean I I when I was very young I used to have a, like a red mist moment and I think it depends what's happened in your life mm. many many moons ago I was with somebody who was an angry person and it's caused me to have fear of anger and I think it it's a frightening thing to see somebody lose it and I used to have a, a, a red mist where, I, where I'd, like you, have mm. to, you know, something. hit something to get it out of me. Anyway, as the years have gone on, I've managed to manage myself through no hope, help of anybody else. And I think you can do it yourself if you really want to. And now I am calm. I don't have anger. Mm. But more than anything else, I don't have anybody in my space or anywhere around me that has anger problems, that has a row, that will bring atmospheres in, that will cause any kind of... Please but go out of my space. You, Sherry, do you confront them or do you just walk away? Um, now I walk away. I, I'm not very confrontational anyway, to be absolutely honest, and it's very hard to do that for me. But I don't like any atmospheres of anger in my space now. That's gone. Yeah. Only bring joy and happiness. You're the, you're you are the Yoda of anger. I try we to look be up Yoda. to you, Sherry. <laughs>